Well, who will save Nigeria from this mess? Because really, the Naira keeps depreciating on a daily basis. What is the reason for this? Is it the recession or what? What has happened? Is it that the... Uh, uh, I, I really cannot place it because uh, the Naira keeps falling on a monthly basis. How can a dollar be 485 Naira to a dollar? It is all messed up. It is absurd. I wonder what this government is really doing because very soon Nigerians will not be able to afford anything. And that is why everyone is calling on the president to restructure, restructure, restructure. But it seems like it is such a hard work for him to do because really nothing is working in the nation anymore. If one dollar could just be about 485 almost 500 because we are yet to find out where and how much it has gotten to uh, at the moment but really that is the uh, main uh, 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 exchange rate as it is now i really don't know what cbn will say about this because the government is full of lies they can come out to tell us that a dollar is you know uh, one dollar to 300 naira or one dollar to 250 naira they can come up with anything but the most important thing that we must know as Nigerians is that on a daily basis, our Naira keeps depreciating because our government is not responsible enough to handle some of these things. It even seems some of these ministers and, uh, you know, governors and the likes do not even understand the position to which they occupy because if they do, they would be responsible for some of these things that are going into depreciation they should be able to handle these things to make nigeria great again but it seems nigeria keeps sinking and sinking and sinking imagine that the parliamentarians that came to nigeria from the uk nigerians have refused to even accept what cnn even uh you know uh, the video that they brought out so definitely there's nothing they will say that will make nigerians even trust all these are ministers and governors and senators and all of them because they keep saying opposite of what things really are. But of course, we know that the Naira is depreciating. And of course, Godwin Emefile, that is the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, has made this known again that indeed the Naira is depreciating. But let us see how much he is trying to tell Nigerians that it has depreciated to and what is the next line of action, what is the next uh, uh, thing. Nigerians should do to make the, the Naira strong again. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. And also give this video a thumbs up. Yes, we are here to give you the best, the most authentic, sizzling, hot, and reliable happenings in Nigeria and more. Well, let us dive right into the details of this report without further ado, as it says that Nigeria continues for the slide. The Naira depreciates against the dollar across the official and parallel markets yesterday, with many pundits predicting further decline of the national currency. At the official investors and exporters INE window, Naira declined to 2.0% to 393.25% per dollar, dropping from previous position of 385 naira 50 cobalt per dollar most participants at the INE window maintained bids between 382 and 394 per dollar at the parallel market naira depreciated by 0 0.8 percent to 487 naira per dollar senior research analyst fxtm lukman otunuga said the naira was poised to decline further as the central bank of nigeria cbn has limited capacity to sustain its restrictive foreign exchange forex management although the central bank of nigeria has devalued the naira by 20 percent in 2020 in an effort to unify its exchange rates the naira could be poised to decline further as falling reserves complicate the central bank of nigeria's efforts to defending the local currency, Otunuga said. He said Nigeria's economy picture remains clouded by external and domestic risk 
noting that while dollar shortages continue to punish the private sector, rising inflationary pressures amid border closures and COVID-19 related disruptions have hit consumers. He explained the negative impact of the decline in crude oil price and production on the Nigerian economy, pointing out that while crude oil continues to contribute less than 10% of the gross domestic product, it accounts, to, it accounts for some 90% of foreign exchange earnings and half of government revenues. According to him, Nigerian economic situation was compounded by its dependence on oil revenue as oil production fell to 1.67 million barrels a day amid OPEC supply cuts and pr prices struggled to break away from the sticky $40 level. Export earnings evaporated. Essentially, the collapse in oil prices in the wake of the pandemic has drained government coffers, Otsunaga said. He noted that the current rates at the parallel, parallel market was the weakest level in more than six weeks, as CBN's intervention in the official window failed to meet demands. Well, obviously, you can see that Nigeria is sliding, uh, uh, the Naira is sliding and keeps sliding and keeps sliding. We don't know how much it's going to be per dollar very soon. But now you can see, obviously, that it is 485 Naira per dollar. Whoa. What is really going on here? What is happening? You can see the exp uh, uh, explanation that Otunuga gave, and uh, you know the uh, Central Bank of Nigeria seem not to have a clue on what to do to strengthen the naira. And if this continues, I wonder how the consumers are really going to handle this, because really the dollar keeps depreciating on a daily basis, and this has affected the prices of foods and commodities in the country. Imagine oil prices. Nigeria has relied too much on crude oil, and that is what has affected her. That is why Nigeria is going through a lot of these things without help from anywhere. Imagine that the Minister of State and Oil Petroleum actually decided to still go and import crude oil from Niger Republic. Well, it is absurd that you would have such an uh, amount of oil in your country and you still go out to import oils. It is shameful. But we hope that the Naira gets strengthened anytime soon. So, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to drop your comments and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for being here. You guys are wonderful. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.